Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this class, we will be seeing sections of solid problem number 4. Let us read what question says. A square pyramid, base 40 mm, axis 65 mm, has its base on HP. So, base of square pyramid is on HP. HP means horizontal plane. All the edges of base are equally inclined. Equally inclined means you have to take it at 45 degree. Okay. Then what they are saying? Equally inclined to VP. It is cut by a section plane perpendicular to VP and inclined at 45 degree to HP. And bisects the axis. Draw its sectional top view, sectional side view and true shape of the section. So one by one. We will see first we will complete problem from here to here then we will see the section part okay let us start the problem so what i will do very first i will try to draw x y line as i said equally inclined means top view will be drawn at 45 degree edges of the square so here i am setting it to 45 degree here any number you take 8 8 or 6 6 anything whenever same numbers are there it means these lines are 45 degree with respect to this horizontal line so what we will do we will draw a top view of the base which is 40 mm side So here I have drawn top view of a square pyramid. Now I will go for its front view. So front view is also called elevation. So here I have aligned this to horizontal x y line. Let us project this points. So here first we have to draw the base. Axis how much? 65 mm long. So we will take axis from center which is vertically up 65 long line short line is the notation for the axis next what you do you join the apex with two end projectors from the top view which has came here so this is how the front view is completed still we have to draw one visible edge that i will show you pyramid means it will be here 3d i will draw one diagram it will be like this okay so these edges are also visible from the top view if you are seeing so those edges will look like this in the top view which i have drawn okay and from front if you see front side this vertical edge will be somewhere here so whenever a visible edge and axis overlaps you have to give preference to the visible edge so axis will be getting hidden because of the edge let us give some numbers or alphabets notations a b a b c and this is d so here comes a dash b dash c dash back side we are going that is here comes d dash a b c d here a b c d is again back side here on top o dash and here it is o so this is how front view and top view is completed for the square pyramid now what they are asking dimensions we will do it later here they are telling it is cut by a section plane perpendicular to vp and 45 degree inclined to hp okay if a plane cutting plane is nothing but a plane a plane is inclined 45 degree to hp means it is by default perpendicular to vp sections of plane generally will be inclined to one plane and perpendicular to other okay these are not the planes which are inclined to both the planes cutting plane will be inclined to only one plane which is here inclined to hp 45 degree indirectly it is vertical or perpendicular to vp so with respect to hp it is 45 degree so here it should go or it should be drawn at 45 degree inclined like this you can take 45 degree like this or you can take 45 degree in this manner also 
where to draw it bisects the axis so take midpoint of the axis 65 midpoint so 32.5 somewhere here the midpoint comes okay so from this the cutting plane should pass and it should make angle of 45 degree so here these are the edges already we have drawn at 45 degree this is at 45 degree parallel to this I will be taking with this midpoint of the axis so here goes our cutting plane this is x x dash we can put sp or any other notation also valid okay this is cutting plane we have drawn now what we need to do we need to give numbers so this is first point one dash this is second point two dash this is third point three dash this is front view so we are using dashes after three it goes back side see this is assume one two three four point will be back side edge which is behind this one so that is two of two bracket four dash let us project all these points in the top view what we will be getting a and 3 we have got okay now how to take or how to mark 2 and 4 2 and 4 you need to transfer here on the slant edge you can transfer the points only on true slant edge how do we know that this is true slant edge wherever the edge is here o a here o a is parallel to x y line in the top view so this we can use if it is inclined then we cannot use so now just measure this distance or by help of compass we will be measuring this distance then bring it here now already we have kept measurement and from here also you can verify the measurement and rotate it here one arc here one arc so one point comes here another point comes here so this point is one dash this will be two dash this comes three dash this comes four dash let us join all of them So with the help of scale we have joined all 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 points. So in this we will be doing hatching. Hatchings are the 45 degree lines equally spaced. So let us draw hatching lines. Here it comes hatching lines. So hatching part is also completed now what you need to do you need to see this sectional top view is completed this is sectional top view top view which contains the section section means after cutting whatever new surface is coming that is called section so it is in the top view so this is called sectional top view sectional side view side view we have to draw then afterwards we will go for true shape of the section true shape of the section required whenever the cutting plane is inclined at certain angle if it is parallel to HP or the cutting plane is inclined or if it is 0 degree parallel to XY line then only this true shape of the section comes otherwise if it is horizontal true shape will be visible in the top view itself so it is inclined so from top we cannot see the full size this is full size and this is reduced size so to see full size we have to view from this side so here comes the true shape that we will do after some time now we will be going for side view of the problem so I will extend this xy line so to draw side view let us construct one straight line now this side of the portion is called profile plane in the profile plane we will be drawing side view so project this 1 2 3 lines and then from here either you can use compass and rotate this line like this 
or directly you can take it at 45 degree by using the drafter or any other scale so here i have projected all the lines now we will be constructing the side view this is the base of the pyramid axis height remains same which can be projected from this front view now project the section points from this front view this one this second and this third one and this section top section points also you have to transfer here four and this two and making this scale at 45 degree shift this point in the side view then from here take vertically upward because projectors are vertical not inclined means perpendicular to xy line so here goes this one here goes this one okay sorry so how many points you have here this one and this one comes this side this is fourth one and this is one double dash two double dash three double dash and this is four double dash double dash used for side view so joining them all will give you the sectional side view and for this also we will be making 45 degree equi space hatching lines so let us draw quickly now let us go for true shape of the section for that what you need to do take parallel to xy line another line at certain distance parallel to this cutting plane okay make sure it should not touch to the apex little gap here i have kept a small minute gap you can see that now project all the points here point number 1 2 and 4 here and point number 3 also this side now what you need to do you need to measure the distance from previous xy line to this one and you have to transfer here okay so this is the first point distance from previous xy line and same distance from here from this xy line i will transfer like this so here due to insufficient of space it may overlap this text but you don't worry everything will be clearly explained so this comes fourth point it's somewhere here and next comes point number 2 that comes here from this xy line somewhere here then point number 3 this three goes here from this three from this xy line we will be measuring what it from here to here you have to measure the distance and same distance you have to see this is three so from here from this new xy line you have to transfer so this you can treat x dash and y dash so these are the points 1 2 3 and 4 join them and inside those sector or area you have to do the hatching so here i have drawn true shape of the section which is visible if you see from this side so this surface after cutting new surface will be this one okay so here notation comes one suffix one two suffix one 
3 suffix 1, 4 suffix 1. Here this is a little bit overlapping with the text. You don't worry. I hope you have understood. If you have any doubts, please comment it. And don't forget to like, subscribe and share my channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching everyone.